time we're going through the bank feeds to add the deposits now so we, we've looked at some of the expense side of things now we're focusing in on the deposit side of things quick recap on the deposits if we look at our our flow on the revenue cycle then at the end of the day we expect cash to be going up but we might have to collect that or have different cycles depending on the industry we're in the easiest industry and the one we're going to focus on this time is being able to construct our financial statements directly from the deposits that would be something like gig work you get paid from youtube you get paid from amazon some platform comes in you record the deposit uh, with a deposit form using the bank feeds instead of using the create sales receive which is the cash based income form designed to be used in quickbooks or an invoice which is the accrual based form designed to be used in quickbooks to record income so by using a deposit form we're losing a little bit of the detail we would otherwise get if we were properly using a sales receipt or invoice such as tracking our revenue in sub ledgers sub reports by customer or by uh by item things that we're selling inventory items and service items but that might be well worth doing if we are in an industry where we could do that because we can automate the process and then we'll branch out from that in future presentations to think about well what if we had a cash register situation how would we have to modify our bank feeds in a slightly more difficult situation there and then move into an accrual standpoint and we'll analyze that situation so if i go back on over then as we construct our income statement accounts we're going to be building our income statement as we go remember the general rule is that we're going to have fewer income statement just major categories of income statement accounts because normally we would have the sub ledgers breaking out the income by customer by items that we sell if we were using the sales receipts and the invoices to record income however if you're getting paid just by youtube or something then you might just call your income account youtube income or something like that because you don't have those other sub ledgers and and so you might just name it by the customer or the platform which is what we're going to be doing here so it's, it's important to keep those two things kind of separate in your mind because it'll differ depending on the industry you're in